Shalom, 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 Shalom. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. I want to start off and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekal Kadash. I want to give another double honors to, to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. No respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you, sincere Akim, that's pushing his word and sincerity and in truth. All right. This is the brother Malachi. And I want to get into um, the times that we're getting ready to get into. The times of um, the, 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 the entrance of, of, com of coming into Jacob's trouble. Because that's, uh, that's what we're slowly reaching ourselves into. These are the beginning of sorrows, all right? The contractions are getting closer and closer each day. There's always something new each day, all right? So, this is the book. We're going to start off in the book of uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. All right? Because this is a warning out there to you uh, 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 you so-called uh, blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. All right? You other Israelite foreigners that are out there scattered across the four winds. This is a warning unto you. All right? For you to get yourself right. Because this is the time. All right? That Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh it's about to unleash his wrath upon two-thirds of our people, all right? Two-thirds of our people don't want to come back to the Heavenly Father. They don't want to come back to this knowledge, all right? They don't want to come to the light. They want to stay in out of darkness, and they want to be and they want to stay there forever, all right? So therefore, since the Most High, he's called them, all right, through the prophets, they did not hearken. They don't want to listen. So therefore, Jacob's trouble is at hand. And guess what? The people still are in that folly state to where they cannot wake up and see the destruction is at hand. All right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So when you go into Jacob's trouble, that's going into the twelve tribes of Israel. Uh, so like the twelve tribes of Israel, all right. But only a remnant is going to be saved out of it. But the rest will be just thrown away because they have rejected, all right, the words of the heavenly Father. So therefore, the Heavenly Father, as I just read at the beginning of Hosea 4 and 6, he has, uh, 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 so like he has rejected them because they rejected the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. All right? The knowledge is his wisdom, his understanding, all right, of knowing the scriptures, of knowing the times that we're in, all right, knowing the prophecies, of seeing that the brothers are out on the highways and hedges, slowly but surely, we're going to be seeing it very sure there's going to be a famine of the word. And they're going to lose at all hope in that time. The time of Jacob's trouble is at hand. This is the time for you to repent and for you to get yourselves right. All right? We're going to start in the book of Zeph Zephaniah 1 and 14. The great day of Yahweh is near. It is near. And hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. The Salakia. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. 
and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahweh, and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Right. So the thing that you're getting ready to see right now, how e Esau, he's, he's setting up uh, his, he, he's setting everything up strategically, all right? While he's putting out this order that people need to be on a curfew or a stay-at-home order, that they should be in, in, in their homes at a specific time or throughout the whole weekend or day, all right? This is what's happening right here where I'm staying at, here in Tampa, Florida, all right? It's, a, it's basically, basically like a curfew, all right, at the hours of 10, uh, I believe it's 10 p.m. to uh, 5 a.m., Salakia. So now you have, um, on the weekends, it's a 24-hour lockdown, all right? All, only those who have, uh, you know, maybe to go out and get something to eat or, uh, or people that have uh, uh, jobs are, are basically allowed to be out. This is Esau cracking down, all right? But ultimately, it's the Heavenly Father. He's cracking down on his people. And as well, the rest of the other world, but he, he does, he's not worrying about them. This is going out to two-thirds of his people. All right? This is what's coming to you. All right? Your flesh will be counted out as dumb. Esau is coming with his military. All right? His troops. All right? His National Guard. All right? These things are coming. It's getting set up strategically. The borders are getting closed, all right? This great wrath is about to come upon these two-thirds of our people, all right? But therefore, two-thirds don't want to listen and they don't want to hearken, all right? We've given the warning out. We're blowing a trumpet. We're telling you this is, this is it. But our people still thinking that this is just going to be something that's just going to blow over. People talking about starting businesses, so on and so forth. Let's read on. Verse 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath. So while they're out there trying to make their money, all right, they're getting all these hours. I'm just saying on my job, all right. People are making 60, 70, 80 hours a week, all right. They're all happy right now, but they don't even know that they're putting their uh, money into a loose bag with holes in it, all right. They're working in vain. All right? It says, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land, Israel, shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. All right? That's these martial law troops coming in, kicking in them doors, spoiling your goods, the things that you read in the book of 2 Ezra 15, 16. All right, these things are coming upon the people. All right, it says, For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Two thirds of you, you got it coming to you. How we always on the highways and hedges, you walk by, you scoff, you laugh, spit, throwing stuff at brothers, cussing them out, laughing. Many things that you do, but you don't even know that you're doing that to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, because they are the ones that sent the men of the Lord to preach these good tidings unto you, all right? So that you can hear, so that you can have hope, so that you can get the faith built up for before this day happens. The day is approaching. It is near. It is very near. Let's jump into the book of Ezekiel 7. Chapter 2, I mean, Salaki, chapter 7, verse 2. It says, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord power unto the land of Israel, an end, the end, is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee 
and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Everybody's going to know who Yahweh is. Everybody's going to know who Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is. All right? Everything ain't going to make sense here in this land in that day. Everybody's going to be like, as the scripture says, walking like blind men, not knowing where the hell they're going, not knowing what they're going to be so confused. Things is going to happen back to back to back to back. Men are going to be holding their uh, loins for travail. I mean, all type of things is going to be happening to two thirds of our people. All right. They got a heavy, heavy, heavy judgment coming towards them, especially if they do not repent. All right. Hear the words that the men of the Lord are speaking out. Verse four, the Salaki, verse five. Thus saith Yahweh, our power and evil and only evil. Behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. The end has been watching two thirds of our people throughout generations and generations. It was waiting for the time to come. And now when it's, this time is starting to come, it's starting to manifest itself. Now the two thirds, they don't know what's going, they don't know what's coming for them. But the end has been watching them from the very beginning. All right. Verse seven, the morning is come unto thee, which is that light, which is Yahushai. All right. Whom Yahushai has sent his, his servants, the prophets, to preach unto you, to give you these good words. All right? It says, O oh, that dwellest in the land, the time has come. This is the time. We've been preaching to you, telling you all these things that was getting ready to happen way before time. All right? You got the apostles and elders have been preaching this 30 plus years. All right? Until it came up into the lot of the, the, the newcomers that's getting ready to come in. All right. That has been just coming in. And now they're coming up on the level. And now they're teaching. Speaking to myself first and foremost. All right. It says, the morning is come unto thee. This light is shining unto you guys now. All right. You are without an excuse in the day of wrath. It says, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time has come. The day of trouble is near and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish mine anger upon thee and I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. All the abominations that the two thirds are doing. Committing adultery, smoking weed, going to these harlot houses, all right? Committing adultery against the Most High with all these different idols, these different gods, all right? Defiling themselves with the uh, with the pork and the shrimp, this the the, the the defiling the Sabbath, so on and so forth. They 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 uh, 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 they, they they curse the prophets whom the Lord has sent unto them to give them the light. Verse 8. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee. I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. All right? You damn men want to be women. You women want to be men, abominations, all right? Verse 9, and mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh that smiteth. Hmm. You're going to know in that day that it's the Lord that did it to you. All right. It's a fearful and terrible thing to fall into the hands of the heavenly father. This is the book of Jeremiah. We're going to start at uh, verse. Hmm. 
Start at verse, we're going to start at verse 13. It says, and now, because ye have done all these works, so all the works that I just named, all right, the adultery, all right, the fouling your flesh, your temple, all right, the men want to be women, the women want to be men, all right, the men dressing up as women, the women dressing as men. I mean, the abomination after abomination, all right? A lot of things that are just worthy of death because you're just causing confusion, all right? You're polluting the land. The women being harlots, all right? You got the men being homosexual, homosexuals. Verse 13, and now because you have done all these works, saith Yahweh, and I spake unto you, how did he speak unto you? Through the way of the prophets, on the highways and hedges, on the platform, the YouTube, the unicorn, all right? Videos going day in and day out, countless video feeds. You have to have seen these videos. It says, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not. And I called you, but ye answered not. Therefore, what I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the place which I gave unto you and to your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh, and I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. You can see that the seed of Ephraim has been cast out. You can see them how the Issacharites, Ephraim, are a. Hey, they getting plagued too, just like Judah as well. All right? It says, therefore, pray not for these people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. So in the times of these troubles that's getting ready to come in uh, 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 for the two-thirds of our people, all right, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, all right, the most I said for us not to even pray for you in that day, that's going to be the time that it's going to be between you and your Yahweh Shem Yahweh all right? You, you had your chance to listen. He's like he said, he's called you early and you still didn't want to hear. So therefore, the most I said, I'm not going to hear nobody in that day. All right. I don't want to, he only going to want to hear is crying, sighing, mourning, weeping, gnashing of teeth. Many things is coming to the two thirds. Lord willing, we are not of that number. That's why you see us. We're trying to get this blood off our hands as much as we can. All right. I'm going to get ready to close out soon. All right. I don't want to make this video too long. But you should get the point. All right. Jacob's trouble is near. You see Esau. He's setting up. He's getting, man. This man is about to show his horns, man. And our people so, man, they're so docile. They, they, they can't see. As the scripture says, they're asleep. All right. The Most High has put a slumber over their eyes. They cannot see. All right. Ears that they cannot hear. It says, verse Ezekiel 33, 27. Say thou thus unto them, thus saith the Lord power. As I live, surely they that are in the waste shall fall by the sword. And him that is in the open field will I give to the beast to be devoured. And they that be in the forts and the caves shall die of the pestilence. They're going to die of the, of the pestilence that's getting ready to come. All right. You got the coronavirus out there. Yeah. But now you got more things coming. More pestilence. This, this is just the beginning. Salakia. It says, for I will lay the land most desolate and the pump of her strength shall cease. And the mountains of Israel shall be desolate, that none shall pass through. Then shall they know that I am Yahweh, when I have laid the most 
desolate because of their abominations which they have committed. All right? So many things is going to be happening, man. Things, they're going to be trying to go this way, this way. They're going to... Let's get that scripture right here. Amos 5 and 19. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? They don't know the end that is for them. It says, The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. All right? You're already dwelling in darkness right now. So the Most High is going to keep you in darkness. He's going he gonna, to he gonna show you a more, even more uh, darkness unto you. All right? That you wish that you would have came to the light. But the light is going to be so far that you can't even see it. It's going to be just darkness all around you. Verse 19. Uh, As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. It's going to be so many catastrophes coming back to back to back to back. You don't know if you're going to die in a famine, if you're going to die in these race wars, if you're going to die from, uh, hey, it's, hey, so many things is going to be happening. Only the men of the Lord, all right, the elect, Salakia, the elect will be hid. All right, they're going to have to go through these things, but they will be saved out of it. But the rest of you two-thirds, it's going to be just like that. You're going to be trying to flee from a lion, but therefore you're going to try to run up into a house, all right, thinking that you're going to be all right, but therefore a bear may be inside the house. Or it says, or you go into a house and lean your head on the wall, or you go lean your head and uh, uh, you go sit down on, on the bed and therefore, a snake bites you. You're not going to be safe in that day. All right? Many things is coming to you if you don't repent. All right? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akiam and Aqua, that's listening in sincerity and in truth. I want to give another double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. All right? No respect out there to you, sincere Akiam. That's pushing this word in sincerity and in truth and the right doctrine. All right? This is the times that we're living in. All right? It's the time to get right. Stop playing. All right? He's not playing. This man's setting up. He, got his, uh, he, he has his executive orders and everything into play. But two-thirds going to be in this folly, and this is, this, is, this is their death. We kept calling. We kept telling you. We kept blowing the trumpet. If you didn't listen... That's on you. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to all you Akim. All right? This is the brother Malachi. Shalom.